As the Dawn Winery's owner, Diluc dominates Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Wealth and information are at his fingertips. Modest and refined, yet quick to act whenever Mondstadt faces a crisis. What caused him to choose this path? Hmm, how very curious. There must be those who dare to pierce the darkness with their light. As one who wields Pyro and a Claymore, Diluc has perfected the art of violence and dominates the battlefield. With his powerful skills, Diluc causes massive damage with ease and crushes all his foes with fearsome, ruthless strikes. Born a noble, Diluc is well-versed in all things swords. With his guidance, no metal ore is wasted in their making. When forging claymores, Diluc recovers a set percentage of the ores used, aiding greatly in your adventure. Diluc's normal attack performs up to four consecutive strikes, with the fourth strike launching enemies. Holding the attack button constantly consumes Diluc's stamina to launch swift consecutive attacks, dealing increased physical damage to nearby enemies and unleashing an extra powerful attack at the end that launches enemies. Use this wisely to scatter enemy groups and defeat shielded foes. Unlocking the talent Relentless decreases Diluc's charged attack stamina consumption and increases its maximum duration. Use his fierce attacks to defeat those before you. Using the elemental skill Searing Onslaught, Diluc strikes with his Claymore, dealing pyro damage. This can be done three times in a row, with a short window of time to connect each strike. But pay attention. This skill enters cooldown if the next strike is not activated in a short period of time. Using Searing Onslaught in concert with normal attacks allows you to deal constant damage to enemies, while remaining evasive and mobile. Additionally, since this skill deals pyro damage, Diluc can form combinations with other characters using elemental reactions to deal greater damage. Surrounding himself in flames, Diluc knocks nearby enemies back, before gathering the flames into his blade and launching a phoenix, dealing massive pyro damage to enemies in its path. Diluc's normal and charged attacks will also deal pyro damage for a period of time. Dawn has a very large hitbox, allowing it to not only strike airborne foes, but also forcibly reposition enemies to an extent, making it very strong against groups. The pyro damage conversion that Dawn provides further strengthens Diluc's attacks. Unlocking the Blessing of Phoenix talent increases the duration of Dawn's pyro damage conversion and gives Diluc a pyro damage bonus. Diluc is, without question, a well-honed warrior, who efficiently deals with any task. Now, please witness him in action. He begins suppressing the target with normal attacks, combining it with his elemental skill to deal great pyro damage to the enemy. He weaves between these two attack modes to suppress the foe more quickly, while building up elemental energy. He uses his elemental burst once his energy is full, followed by attacks enhanced by Blessing of Phoenix, defeating the enemy flawlessly. Diluc's explosive, ruthless fighting style and his aloof manner are all admirable traits. But if the disaster from five centuries ago were to happen again, if he were to face the same evil that I once did, would he still hold fast to his resolve? This too makes me most curious indeed.